Radio. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 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 Radio. Hello, About a lad who um, eight years old, yeah. but he's still breastfed. <laughs> <laughs> Now I don't know if you can get anything out of that. <laughs> Is that what his mum said? <laughs> <laughs> so, What do you mean? I don't know if I can get anything out of that. You don't need to. No, it's it's just that. You know, Where do you read that? That was on the internet. Oh, well, yeah. Um, You're always unspecific, unspecific when you mention it. It's just it was on the internet. Well, yeah. I'm trying to think what I put in. I think I put in Y to see if I'd confuse the computer. Ah! <laughs> 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 Go! You are. No, I did, I did, no I did, honestly. I did a search, put in Y, and I ca he came <laughs> up with funny things that, like, why d is this person doing that? Why is that? And it had a picture of this eight year old lad, sort of, you know, <laughs> on his mum's nipple. And um, it was saying, you know, is, is, is this healthy? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You sure that wasn't asking you that question? <laughs> uh, what you? I put in why? Just <laughs> confuse the computer. The computer. <laughs> like, we were going, what do you mean? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, look. But, yeah. Uh, Last week uh, I was walking um, uh, home with him, and I went. Uh, I got. He was saying so much stupid. And I went. I've got a conversation for next week. Let's do a phone in, and it's called Carl Pilkington, genius or fool. Yeah. Right. And he went no. No, I went. Why not? He went. Well, uh, it'd be confusing because they say there's no difference between genius and being a fool. <laughs> Do that, don't no, that's, that's, no, no, but it, it's rubbish. And people say there's a fine line between madness and genius, and yeah. you know it's a ridiculous soundbite. Uh, they don't say there's a fine line between a genius and an idiot. Well, the people who do are idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what what would you do there though, just to sort of wrap that little thing up? What would you do? That lad loves his mum's. His mum's milk. What are you what are you asking me to come up with? <laughs> no, I'm just a title <laughs> for the the story. No, 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 no. It's what? just it's just what would you do? Right, what I do you mean, what would I do? Well, it's causing a bit of a problem in the area. Right? <laughs> what area? In, in America, I think it was. Oh, America a problem, are they? George Bush is worried about this kid well, who's no, breastfeeding at eight. Imagine it like this. Right. right. But, so, Carl, what are you asking me about this spurious story you saw on the internet? I saw on the internet, there's yeah. an eight-year-old lad, he likes his mum's milk, yeah. and he's saying, is this right? Should it no, be No, it's not. Wrong? But what, 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 <laughs> what do you want Ricky to do about it? It's not his responsibility, is <laughs> it? Yeah. yeah. No, but, but the little town that he lives in, they're all yeah. causing an uproar, right? <laughs> Going, this isn't right, you know. No. I can't let my kid play out in case he's in the garden with his mum getting a bit hungry, right? <laughs> so, oh God. what should they do? Because his mum's saying, well, he likes it. Yeah. And he, you know, what, so what do you do? I don't know the laws. No, but I'm not asking you to sort out the laws. I'm just saying, if you lived in that neighbourhood, what yeah. would you say? If you went up to him and said, look, everyone's getting a bit fed up with this, look. I'd say, what, 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 what would I do? What do you mean, what would I do? <laughs> what, what are you asking me? <laughs> right, it doesn't matter. No, 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 what are you asking me? What are you asking me and Steve and well, the I'm public? I'm just saying, say if you live next door to this woman. Yeah. Right? The kid's hungry, eight years old, he's out playing on his bike and he goes, Mum, I'm getting a bit peckish, and he goes, all right, son. She whops one out. <laughs> Um, and he starts having his, having his milk, right? <laughs> you live, you live next door, you're putting your washing out, and you see this going on. <laughs> so you're getting a bit sick of it, cause it's gone on for months. <laughs> Eight so, years, I see. Why is it your business? Just why are you, you why are you such a nosy neighbour that you're concerned? What would you do, Carl? Let's turn it back around. Yeah. What would you do? What's your solution? What would you do? Well, I thought, I'd say, right, why are you doing this? And she'd say, um, because he likes it. And I go, all right then, put it in a bowl first. <laughs> and you think that would sort that out? No, because I, I was thinking about the whole thing, right, and you do that when you're a baby, 
<laughs> and everything's all right, innit? Yeah. yeah. No one bats an eyelid sure. at a little baby having, having a bit of milk from its mum's right. restaurant. Yeah. You'd almost say it was natural. But you grow out of it. <laughs> it's like, you don't see. You got me thinking about things you don't see. And you don't see. <laughs> Did you put this into a computer? Show me things you don't see. What else no. don't you see? Well, you don't see, like, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> <laughs> you never... <laughs> Oh, so what? Oh, God. <laughs> you, know, you know the terrible thing about all this, Steve? Is he's right? You don't see No, man I know that's a but, terrible but, thing. So what they have got, right? They've made old man toffees, haven't they? They've come up with all this. <laughs> is, is that a song? Oh, oh God! You don't see it. <laughs> so they've got their worthers, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> Look at him! You Forget think he's it. giving a lecture no, at Oxford? It, no, it's not going anywhere. No, go yet. on, sorry. Go on. I'm what? just saying, right. you grow out of things. Yeah. And the old man, I'm sure when he was a kid, he'd have a twit. <laughs> yeah. But now it doesn't look right, so he's having... <laughs> it doesn't look right! So... Right. I don't think were those originals were specially designed for old people. I think they were sweets that just happened to have been made for years. Mm. That's why old people eat them. Yeah. They didn't go, hang on, there's a market here. I've <laughs> noticed old people aren't eating Twixes. Quick, let's make some yeah. old man sweets. But the, the, the little yeah. advert, he gives it to his grandson as well, doesn't he? He goes, I have a Werther's original. Now, I so think it, it cuts, though, before he throws it back in his face and gets, <laughs> get, get me a Twix. Yeah. <laughs> Voting in all week, send your emails. So here's the clips that you wanted. You've got a real problem with Rick Wallow, haven't you? I just, and he's, I, he's, he's he, probably he turns my stomach. I know, but don't- Because he's arrogant that. as well, exactly, though. Exactly, that's the problem. Don't, don't, don't explain to people that- No, he know, is a bit it's arrogant. His, it's his, it's his, his whole thing that you, it's the whole package, so yeah. to speak, that you don't Well, like. there's another thing in this quote, because, uh, it's he's not just the fact that he eats too much. He, uh, he's, he tried, apparently, to lose some weight, and, uh, it says, he said, The first month I lost eleven pounds, the next I lost a stone, but in the third my body did somersaults and I put on nine pounds. I had a slip up. I yeah. can't say when, why or how, but it just sneaked up on me. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah. Don't believe it just sneaked that, up on that me. That body's never done a somersault no. in its life. No. It just uh, sneaked, sneaked up on, on him. me, yeah. I, 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 it was that. the cakes again. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same old cakes as before. It's like sleep, sleep eating. Yeah. It's called. It was the KFC bucket again. Oh, it was a oh family dear. sized KFC bucket oh, for breakfast. Dear. Poor man. The other thing is that the, I don't think that's a very good shock tactic for a doctor to tell a twenty something. Well, to be honest, you've got twenty years to live. Yeah, that's not. You know, when when I was twenty, the thought of dying at forty was fine. Yeah, I didn't want to live to forty. Yeah. I just thought, oh, what can you do when you're forty? Yeah, just laying around <laughs> doing nothing, eating, eating cheese. cheese. And then you got there <laughs> and you discovered <laughs> no. But someone sent me um, um, Sophie here sent me something. She says, I, I realise you're not Graham Norton, but I have to send you this. And she sent me the top of a little cream cheesy thing, it's, it's, the brand name is Gervais. Oh god, that from, is, have you been, they've named a cheese after I you? Think, I think it's a big French company, and this is from the Czech Republic, it's all over Europe, and so, it that shows, would be a dream come true, wouldn't it, if they named a cheese after no, you? No, I think it's, I think it's, uh, probably, you know, ancestors, and so, I've, cheese is in my blood. Sure. Quite it literally. literally is, yeah. yeah. It, Another it, heavy Friday it, night, wasn't it? It, 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 it comes out of pores like those Play-Doh things. Yeah. I can squeeze out different shapes. Jay, I bring the Stilton in. <laughs> it's Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this man, is a fry. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so, um, we can't really have a go at Rick Waller. I, 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 I eat too much, but, but I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, but I, you're I not big. I mean, one of the other contestants on that, on the, uh, Fat Club Celebrity oh, yeah, Fat Club is, uh, another one is Jono, Jono Coleman. Oh, we love Jono. Now, Jono, he's, he, I don't know, you know Jono, he's that guy does, um, he should be on TV and I think he does a breakfast show on a rival station, isn't he? He's happy, isn't he? He's, he's so true, and he's a really nice bloke, Jono, but- It's funny, cause he does a breakfast show on Heart, which is, he's wrecking his own. There's a bit of irony. Oh, I love Carl. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Do you know I, what I mean? Yeah, I love no, you. I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, that's good. But we've met John yeah. a couple of times. We saw him at a couple of, not wishing to say not to show off, but a couple of awards dues. Yeah. Um, like that's showing off. But like they, people would have seen dead there. Well, yeah, but yeah. we, <laughs> we went to one where everyone was in like tuxedos oh, or yeah, suits yeah. and ties. Not Jono. <laughs> Jono was wearing a pair of Bermuda shorts. Big Bermuda and shorts. And a length Bermuda shirt. shorts with just these little. But I saw him again Time another time and he had shorts on at yeah. a similar event and I've seen him since in the street and he's all I don't think I'm wondering if he can wear trousers. I don't think he can actually wear trousers. I don't know if there's a medical reason for that. Whether he's just his no, legs I, are too fat. I think the material is a waste of money. I think it's just yeah. that you can get shorts that big and they're comfortable. And uh, you know, why do, I mean, to be quite honest, well, why, I don't want to squeeze into a tuxedo anyway. Mm. So uh, if you can go, I'd love to turn up to those things in Bermuda shorts. Well, of course, flip flops. 
Yeah, but do you think he started off by wearing, maybe he just had the upper half was a tuxedo with the tie and, and everything. And then the shorts. And the shorts that. underneath, and he would just have to come in to kind of sneak behind, you know, a, a sideboard. Potted plant. Or a potted plant, or his kids, bring his kids ahead of him. Yeah. You know, you're always running. You're yeah, always yeah, Of course I am. Yeah, yeah. 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 In yeah, you yeah. go, in you go. Kids move a bit. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course I'm wearing trousers. Why would I? wearing trousers. And then you just thought, though, this isn't fooling yeah. anyone. So uh, now I'm going to make a wacky effort to sort of, you know. The next zone is, I've heard he's going in a grass skirt and a garland around his, and he's going to come in. Limboing, but you you did ask if you could go to the Baftas in a dressing game, didn't you? <laughs> Just oh, breeze, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, right, is this talking about diets and stuff? Right, go on. They've come up with a drug that um, they they tested it out on a mouse, right? <laughs> They said, they said, you know, it's a problem that weight, weight is a big issue in the world and, you know, a lot of people are depressed and that, probably like Rick Waller. Well, I'm like, depressed looking at Rick Waller. Well, you know. Oh. I mean, you could, you could sort out Rick by, you know, Jono is an old man, he's got loads of money. He's not old. No, but he's getting on a bit, right? He's about... No, what, I'm gonna mean, what I mean is he does his own shopping, right? So, I bet it's Sorry. hard. Sorry, what do you mean? Because he's like, uh, how old is he? Thirty-five. Right, he's got know. loads of money, he does his own shopping, so when he yeah. goes to the supermarket and he passes, you know, the, the sponge cake section, <laughs> it must be tough when you've got loads of money to burn that you go, oh, just one more. Yeah. One more. Uh, uh, so just sorry, we are getting close to libel here, I think. No, 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 <laughs> I'm saying how it is, because I've, right. I've tried, like, losing a little bit of weight. Have you? And it is difficult when you, you know, you're in Waitrose and you see a little chocolate muffin and think, oh, <laughs> one more and I'll do without... Do you like a little chocolate muffin now and well, again? Yeah, right. Is that your favourite thing? So uh, the thing a is, let him finish his point. So the thing is, right, now with Rick, he lives at home with his mum, so why doesn't his mum just say, I'm gonna buy less this week, and if you eat it all, you're not getting any more? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's all that. Does he live Short, sharp shot. I, I bet he does. I bet he does. <laughs> so he, you, you don't actually know if this is yeah. true or not. No, but, but anyway, right? So this this drug they've come up with. <laughs> they've tested uh, this on mice, haven't they? They've tested it. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm worried if they haven't tested it on mice. Thank enough. God for that. They're, it's definitely been tested on mice. Definitely. They, they fed a mouse a load of cake. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> and it went a little bit chubby and he said, right, stop a minute. And then they gave it this drug yeah. that makes you lose weight. Yeah. <gasps> and it, its weight went down, but the only bad si side effect was its eyes were popping out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems, that seems to be fine then. <laughs> Let's give it to Jono. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any problem. Oh, that's, that's, uh, uh, yeah, Rick should get some of that. Yeah, it's truth, Doc, look at these. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, John, your eyes are popping out. That happened to the mice. Mm. Sorry? <laughs> that happened to the mice. Mm. But what, what do you, do you mean? mean? That's the option. <laughs> well, like what do you mean that's the option? So, so, I love the fact that your choice is either being like a fat, happy man who has the odd sponge cake, or a stick man with eyes on stalks. I mean, Steve's <laughs> chosen that. All right, calm down. Oh, sorry, I thought we were slagging off Rick Waller sorry, and fat mate. people. Sorry, mate. Let's have a go at the fat people before yeah, we start on me, Rick. Yeah, no, I didn't. I forgot. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I've got some issues, even body issues. I know. But I mean, Rick Waller's grotesque, you know. Yeah, yeah sorry yeah. about that. I'm 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Bilmington, not here. Uh, it's the best of. You've been voting in all week, sending your emails. So here's the clips that you wanted. So let's take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's, what's the story? Right, so I did some research. Right, let, let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off, he was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count I'm blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off to so show the brain that can still, or the brain yeah. can continue to work after, yeah. after yeah. this. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So you, you weren't having any of it? Well, no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But, you know, nothing. Nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. Um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that uh, this isn't good. It wasn't been out under that jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, was I can't remember what it was. And they said, right, <laughs> that was terrible. We're yeah. gonna uh, we're gonna cut your head off. Um, you know, oh. you gotta you gotta show people that you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this, in the 1970s? <laughs> well, <laughs> when you say a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of... Was it the olden days when the phones were very good? Ages ago. Yeah. Ages ago, so. So, um, so, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So... <laughs> very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, yeah. when you were always near school. Yeah, this was enough. literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's Simon Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, and even before that, which is young, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> Sorry, Carl, go on. So he's having his head 
off and he's, he's resigned to it. It's, it's the day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not gonna have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> he said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without the head on it, <laughs> right? <laughs> So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. Hoover. So. The jailers? <laughs> whoever he was. These jailers with one eye. Yeah. 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 Get that. So no. Like, Wait a minute. I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be dead tomorrow. Sure. So, um, let's he do a test. He didn't draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said, let, let's, let's, let's test this out. You know, okay. he said, do us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day. Um, what I want you to do is, you're going to cut my head off. Let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if, you know, because there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count. Do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count that's that. That's not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure. Yeah. Who said this? He did all they did. I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. You can say, go on. So, uh, <laughs> so They got Norris McWord, though. <laughs> <laughs> the people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, let's get this white line. Yeah. And, uh, Dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do this tomorrow. And he said, alright, I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning! Night night, sleep tight. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I love the fact that God knows exactly what was said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it is in yeah. or when but he, he knows was. exactly what or was said. Says, well, <laughs> but he knows the interviews. <laughs> alright then, see you in the morning. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, kissy kissy kissy. Oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. Oh, you joker. Oh, don't let the bed bugs work. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm alright. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he says, well, you know, I've got, I've got used to the idea. So yeah. here's, here's a white line for you. Got <laughs> used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So, uh, so they go, right, are you ready then? And he said, I go on. And they cut his head off. And the body walked 32 steps without a head. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 32 steps. Incredible. And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the, it walked along the white line, did it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did 32 steps, and then started to stumble a bit, and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, you know, it was a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When, when you've lost your head. Absolute <laughs> twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what, what do you reckon you can do, then, without an head? <laughs> how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It would twitch a bit. It would, yeah. You could not distinctly take 32 steps. Mm -hmm. The body could... Well, don't... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, is yeah. the doctor still on the line? Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots? Yeah. And, uh... You know, you could have got 32 steps. Right, so, so you don't believe that. Doing a bit of line dancing. Right, you don't believe that for something that you do believe that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Well, mm, insect to, uh, human <laughs> is, is, the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that well, difference. There's not that much difference in well, some Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well, I'm just saying. So? You're making out as if, like, they're a totally different, like, species. <laughs> I am. I am making that. I mean, call me old-fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about? Man? I don't want to embarrass yourself, Rick. Yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the the cockroach is is a very different thing. The interesting there is that it lives. It lives by its head because a lot of it's on. Uh, 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 there's some of them are phototropic, chemotropic. Some of them just do literally have uh, irritation and muscle memory. I mean, they do have a central nervous system, but it, it, it's it's very different. So if you lose the head, it bypasses a lot. Of that anyway. All this is running around. The reason it dies is because it can't take on water. But it's very different to a man, <laughs> right, having consciousness and then losing that and the body's still going, no, I remember, I think I remember what I was going to do it. Yeah, so I'm going to carefully walk 32 line. steps along this white line. I'm basically just looking down going, oh, missed a bit. Yeah. Um, maybe the head was in the corner going, left, <laughs> yeah. left, you <laughs> left. Oh, he's not. Ooh. Well, let's just put it out. I mean, if, if, if anyone listening is uh, has maybe had a relative <laughs> beheaded, maybe in a hor horrendous car accident. <laughs> but they got up, maybe they, they went for a walk, uh, they, you know, they, they, they had a little chat. Oh, they dear on. Carl. Get in touch. You know, oh, get, Carl, you, you, you are my favourite being. You are my favourite 
species. Now, you, Carl, may not be particularly different genetically <laughs> from a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> you are why can cockroaches do that? Why are you ever made them go- when- Let's play a record. Do you know what, what I told him this fact? I send him little facts on text messages just to inflame his, you know, interest. I just sent him a cockroach can live for nine days though its head. Mm. He texted back, what's the point of that? Yeah. What's the point of They're that? They're not doing experiments, these cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boring last week to have. <laughs> <laughs> And he went, and on top of all that, he was thirsty. <laughs> so yeah. it's the worst week of your life, isn't it? That week without your head. 4.9, I'm Ricky Tomatoes with me, Stephen Merch. Hello. Uh, you're listening to the best of, basically, Carl Bilkington. <laughs> Carl's all flustered, because there isn't a, a record set up, and he's getting all tizzy. He's been more worried about his competitions and sorting out putting records on, ready. Uh, what? I'm going to have to start a Steve song for a lover. Well, I'll tell you what, you, uh, why don't you carry on with your, uh, educating Ricky section, I'll have a look on the, uh, on the screen. Well, keep it going, Steve. Yeah, Cover you it, go on. Through. Go on then, right, okay. We've All had, right. we've had a, a few emails. Uh, anyone got it right, Carl? Anyone um, got it right? Yeah, Ricky, educating Ricky, that's the final one. We've got to get that out of the way. We've got to get Rockbusters as well, we though. We can do that at the end, we can whip Go on then. But we've only got five minutes left. Come on, just right. do educating Ricky. Right. Oh, God. The, uh, the last one that we haven't done right. is, um, he's a bit of a nuisance. Go on then. Um, again, not, not really, not really that interesting. Thanks. Um, no, like, again, I t- spoke to you in the week, and he had much better things, like when I tell you about Brian Blessed climbing Everest, and for some reason it made him, uh, it, uh played havoc with his belly, and what? it followed through and he had to clean up. He shat using, himself. Yeah, using, um, using ice and stuff. Why are you telling, why are you telling me that Brian Blessed, what, what, in what way is telling me that Brian Blessed shit himself once in any way educational? Because I was saying how, he, he, he was climbing Everest, right? Right. Give it to him, he's an actor and that, but he, he gave that a go. Yeah. Right, he played... What's the know, point of that, you'd say, wouldn't you? You'd say, God, he's, he's, you know... He's oh, good. so he's all right. Oh, me, me doing a boxing match for no reason is rubbish, but him climbing Everest and shitting himself... Yeah, he did is, that. ...is commendable. Right, and he's only gonna, like, go and do it again. He's gonna climb it again. Yeah, but he might not shit himself this time. Yeah, what's the point in going? Nothing's changed up there. <laughs> yeah, it could probably, yeah, what's it been? Well, it has. They've probably, uh, have uh, probably cleared yeah. it up by now. Like, right, but, uh, <laughs> it, it's slip on it. I can't really it got... just telling you this one, cause... Come on! To just do it, or do it now! Steve, how we're doing? Look, no, no, never mind that. Look, just tell me what that means. Uh, oh, he's a nuisance. Oh, this is so annoying, Carl. I'm gonna go mental. Right, talk. Right, right listen, I'm just talking right. to you, right? Right, nuisance. He's a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. the old fella who used to hang people... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to be able to tell somebody's weight just by looking at them. Right? Um... That's a bit of a bonus fact. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. The, 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 thing, the thing that I wanted to tell you yeah. is, um, money for old ropes, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't even be bothered. Yes, you're gonna tell me now. Come on, Carl. No, I mean it. Basically, money for old rope yeah. came from the so, right. What was all that about? You can tell someone's weight. <laughs> what was all that for? Fact. And Bono Blessed shitting himself. What are you? What? No, tell you. No, tell me that now. You nearly made me swear. Then just I'm getting really annoyed. <laughs> I'm getting really annoyed now. Tell me this fact, Carl. Or I'm gonna go mental. <laughs> Come on, Carl. I'm trying to know. Not that people years ago when people used to be hung, right? Right. If you didn't like the person who's been hung, you'd go, God, I really don't like him. And so, and so you never forget the Because you were there being hung, we take that as red. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so they never forget afterwards to get the hangman to get the rope and to cut it up into little pieces and he'd sell them. He'd sell a little piece of the rope to people. And See, that, so the, Carl, that's the most interesting thing, if it's true, that you've come up with. Right, okay. And so what's, what's, you, so they, they sell the rope? They sell the rope, and it's money for old rope. Money for old rope. Meaning, like, you know, God, it's easy to make money, that, that all I have to do is cut it up and sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm cynical. <laughs> I'm not so convinced, right, listen, though. We're, we're really tired, we haven't even got time for a last talk, we've got an ad break and we've got to give out... Okay, give answers. the answers then, this is right. ridiculous. So, Come Steve, on. do you want to pick a winner? Uh, I've got oh. a winner when you give us the answers. Okay, so the first clue was, uh, that army has got some well nice trenches. Yeah. That was DW. Who's that? Dandy Warhols. <laughs> That's brilliant! <laughs> That's brilliant! <laughs> All right. That is good, yeah. Uh, the second okay. one. The top of them curtains are wrecked, all yeah. the material is worn. Yeah. HV, yeah. that's uh, Holly Valance. 
Oh, he got a phone call for a woman saying that I haven't heard it, and she went, she was, he was talking to her off air, and she went, uh, what is it? Uh, someone says, oh, them's correct. She went, all oh, right. She said, you know the thing around the top of the, um, curtain is a palmet, not a valance, and he went, cut her off. Yeah, <laughs> but my auntie's always making valances on everything. I'll tell you about that next week, right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Right. Is this the one that farted for five minutes? Yeah, yeah, the very same. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, we'll talk about that. Uh, I was in Texas, I tripped up, I landed on my knees in a puddle, WH, yeah. uh, Wet Knee Houston, right? Wet Knee Houston. Yeah. So, You're a maniac. So, who's a winner? We've got Pete Catherine and Laura in Newcastle upon Tyne, they're listening uh, online I assume, and uh, they're going to those great places. And remember they've got loads of stuff, they've got uh, the DVD here, they've got Linda Green, they've got Stone Roses, they've got another compilation, and Executive Decision. What did you read about Brian Blessed? Is it actually true or have you a lie with no, someone else? it was an interview with him in it. And what did he say? Oh, Come on, what did he say? He said I, I climbed Everest and the, the, I played off it with me belly. Uh, let's talk about it next week. We've <laughs> really run out now. Oh, you're a fool. <laughs> Here we are then. Oh, oh. oh. Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas, on XFM 104.9, about five past one, Saturday. Here we are again then. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> I can't believe our luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Carl. All right. Yeah. So, what are we doing today then, producer? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I always laugh instinctively when I hear Carl's name and that word. Yeah. Seriously. Right. Well, why is that? Because it is. I, I had to come up with some new features again for this new year. Okay. I'm excited. What have you come up with? Carl. <laughs> Oh. We we are the backbone of this show, Carl. Yeah, we're gonna we're tell we're tell you we, we've come up with some pretty. What's yours first? Right, go on. Right, well, rockbusters. That's old. That's not a new feature. Yeah, but we'll keep it. Right. Another, so another you're bit. just keeping an old feature. Okay, okay. Now it's an old favourite. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going. Phew! I was worried that he'd lose rockbusters. Rick, I just come up with a new idea. Why don't we just play some records that we like? There's a new idea for the 2003. Yeah. Oh. oh, you know what we can't, Steve? Because the live was out of order. Oh yeah, the record live, but we can't get in there, we're we, not allowed to get in there. We had to scrounge something from Capital Gold. So anyway. Right. Go on. So we got rock busters. What are they doing with the library? Are they getting some records in that we want to play? <laughs> Is that their new idea? I know, let's get some records in yeah, that we want to play. Yeah, they're sitting out the, uh, the Gina G. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four non blondes, goodbye. <laughs> Give that to Foxy. Go on, so sorry Carl. We'll do, um... <laughs> We started Do We Need Them in 2002. Do We Need Them? Do We Need Them, yeah. We'll, we'll continue got, that. Got a new one, haven't you? Explain that later. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and then the new stuff comes in. Ooh. Right? Um, as always, I like to sort of get words and tweak them and stuff. Sure. Yeah. So I was thinking of either doing something <laughs> with, um, there's a lot of weird rituals, <laughs> isn't there? A lot right? of weird rituals? Yeah. There's weird stuff going on around the world. Okay. There is, yeah. Um, and I was gonna tweak that to Rick Jules. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Again, starting with the title, the pun first, then working out what it is. And well, then I found some weird stuff. And, oh, right, so it's, it's specifically... Just stuff what? that goes on, like, um... Rick Jules. There was, uh... Most of the weird stuff I've heard about happened to you in Manchester. Yeah. In your early years. Well, in India, apparently it's good to have uh, a flat head. <laughs> so the, uh... <laughs> Again, just flirting, just bordering on the racist, <laughs> yeah. but never really gets there, always... Well, because there's no, there's no intent. There's no hate, there's no hate, it's, it's just clumsy, it's, just, yeah, it's just stupidity. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Go on, what, Sorry, do, you so mean, what, do, you what do you mean, what do you mean, it's good to have a flat What do you mean it's good to have a flat in India? We'll, we'll talk about it later. Brilliant. That's, that's rituals, <laughs> so... That is, you've hooked a few people, already. you've hooked a few right. in, go on. Alright, so we'll have that later. So, it's essentially like educating Ricky, only it's specifically about rituals. Is that... Is that strictly speaking what it is? Okay. I suppose so, but then again, yeah. you could say radio is all the same because it's people talking. <laughs> okay, Carl, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant no, come back. Yeah, so, brilliant come back. Not all talking nonsense, though. Well, so that's where we're different. Go on. Um, also, right, I like teaching you stuff. Yeah. And you've yeah. done well. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is, rather than just touching on a topic, to sort of giving you a few bits of information on one See, topic. this is what I'd like to do, because the last thing you taught me, I remember, was there was a blind girl, she hit her head and she could see, and that's all I got. Yeah. So if you could go into that a little bit more, that would have been educating me. Well, today, we're featuring, uh, stuff on World War One and Two. Blind. Right? Oh, So that's, on. that's, uh, that little title for all this little thing is, uh, <laughs> what do you think of that then? <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you think of that then? <laughs> Play a record. So Rick, can I have just sort of a joke? Go on. What's the similarity between Lord of the Rings and this show? They're both rubbish. I have a lad insane, my favourite David Bowie album. What's yours, Carl? Yeah, that one, that one's good. <laughs> Brilliant. So, um, right, we've got, um, Rockbusters coming up. Do you want to say what we've got to give away there, Steve? Not really, Rick. Is it really bad? Well... What's the film? What's the featured film? The featured film's not bad, I have to say, actually. You, you've excelled yourself there. Again, it's just one of those things where I think, what kind of XFM listener would want this particular goodie bag? I know before Christmas, Carl, you explained that the reason Look, we were Carl's giving away... Look, Carl's he's disgusted, because he, he just said, I do a lot of work to get, get these prizes, and I went, no, you didn't. I saw you. He went over to a drawer and went, I'll give that one, that one, and that one. That that's what work you put in. You nicked, you nicked some, there's about 12 Jerry Halliwell videos, one of which we're giving away. It's oh, really? like you've given it away? Oh, no. Yeah, if you'd like uh, Jerry Halliwell's uh, Body Yoga DVD, uh, then, you know, that's one of the treats you can win. Um, but it does it like, if you notice, if you remember before Christmas, he said that um, he was giving away a kind of bumper pack of uh, gifts that you might want to wrap up and give oh, to various people. Oh, one for uncle, one, one for uncle, yeah. one for auntie. But obviously Christmas has passed, so I don't know really what your well, excuse is this you time. E you eat a lot over Christmas, don't you? Get a bit fat. Fair point. Yeah. So, uh, we, yeah, Jerry Body Yoga is one of them. Um, the recent, on DVD, the recent series of, of Weeders Ain't Pet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, that I mean, Could you give me that reaction again? Well, no, I just no, just uh, give me that reaction again. No, yeah. yeah, brilliant. Um, and actually, I have to say this this isn't bad at all. This is the uh, very best of the Stone Roses CD. Well, you can't knock that. Which, uh, you can't knock that. Fact, I tell you what, we should we should play Elephant Stone at some point. Yeah, today, play, yeah, we'll have that. Go on. Um, Madness. I think this is actually tunes from them and not from the musical, although it is uh, tied into. He the went musical. to see that musical. Really? Yeah, on New Year's. Uh, you know, what it's like on New Year's Day. There's nothing to do. Sure. So, so you go and see some people. Doing madness songs. Oh, I took Suzanne out for a walk, right? Yeah. Went round um, Covent Garden. Right. Mm -hmm. Past the place where it was on. The stage door was open, you snuck in. <laughs> well, I said madness are alright. And because when you think about it, madness songs are quite sort of musical anyway, aren't they? So you can't. They're quite do musical. Do you know what I mean? They sort he of means they're oh, like a musical, right, like yeah. Like a musical. Needs that Mother Brown. I thought yeah. it was all right. Enjoyed it. Blur, Blur, the, Blur the musical would be good, wouldn't it? Blur the musical would be excellent. Yeah. So, um, cockney so you, what, you bought tickets there and then and just went in. Yeah. They're not selling, are they? <laughs> um, it's fairly, it fairly quiet because no. we only paid the, the lower price and we got upgraded for free. Nice. So you I enjoyed it, did you? I'd loved it. And so would anyone like to come on stage with us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the little bald fella. <laughs> yeah, go on, I'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> and what home are you from? Where, are you, where are you, what are you doing tomorrow? Well, I'm going. Well, I'm going no, you're coming here tomorrow. <laughs> Come here tomorrow. <laughs> is it not? Is he not doing well? That's a disappointment. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it was New Year's Day, so maybe that's why it was quiet. Okay. Well, well if uh, if anyone hasn't seen this or didn't receive it for Christmas, Bono said all is quiet on New Year's Day, Carl. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Also, we've got the giveaway Minority Report by uh, I like that. Steven I Spielberg that. with uh, Tom Cruise, um, which is on VHS. It's a good Rick Roaring sort of film. It's not that. bad. That's probably the best thing we're giving away, but uh, as I say, we can always leave some out if you don't I'm want arresting you for the future murder of Sarah Marks. Yeah. Brilliant. That's the sort of uh, excitement and drama you'll be getting in it. It's not brand little new. Taste of it. I did, I got that off Paul Anderson. He said there's something to watch over Christmas. So, so you've actually it. watched this already? Yeah. All right. I've oh. rewound it. That's probably added no, to it though, know. isn't it? It's touched by the great man himself, yeah. Carl Pilkington. And it's alright, I'd say. It's worth, worth a watch. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to give us a quick film review? Just give it a wipe down and maybe some tripe on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, a bit unrealistic. Sure. A bit unrealistic! <laughs> yeah. Genius. <laughs> a but man yeah. who can, fi who finds people who can see into the future. Whereas, our house, that really <laughs> happened. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, prizes uh, giving away. What, what's the competition? Rock we're, we're doing rock busters. We're still doing rock busters. Oh, well, look forward to that. Do that in like 15 minutes. I need a bit of Coldplay first. I'm yeah. doing, honestly. I think they wrote that about Carl. Yes. Uh, yes. On XFM 104.9. Right. Uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Can I just ask Carl how he got on uh, over Christmas? Because oh. the last time I spoke to him, you hadn't bought a present for your girlfriend. Yeah. Like, I have to say, I was on Ten Turks all Christmas. Well, you changed it. Uh, after that show, I felt bad, even though I shouldn't have done. Because. <laughs> Because I, you hadn't bought your girlfriend a Christmas dinner. Yeah, but present. I said to you, I booked a table at a hotel in Covent Garden, had Christmas dinner there, which was nice, right? Mm. It's good food and everything. Um, mm. Didn't feel like enough to me. Well, then I went out and treated some stuff, and then- No, no, no. The, a couple of days before Christmas, he went, uh, I took to Suzanne to that hotel we're gonna go to for Christmas dinner, for we had tea and cakes. And I went, oh, you treated her? He went, no, she paid for it, but I was just showing her what it was going to be like. <laughs> that was her extra treat. She paid for it. I love that. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, it was a dear, it was like 150 quid for a meal for two, which is pretty dear. So I'm not going to buy her cakes as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love that! 
<laughs> Alright, love, have everything you want. You pay for your own pudding, I'm not mental. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, so, yeah. But, so you, you did, you treated her to some other yeah, stuff? some bits and bobs. What, and so you, she bought, she chose them and you paid for them? What, the presents? Yeah. No, or no. you chose them and she paid for them, but, you know, it's, it's the bill <laughs> no, that counts. I, I, I got them on the way home that Saturday. Well done. And what did you buy? Well, just some bits. It might be personal, Steve. Well, I don't care. Just some bits. Yeah, just bits and bits. Leave out the personal bits. What, what bits? Uh, just little things. And then yesterday, right? A monkey wrench and a new washer <laughs> for the shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some <laughs> recordable CDs. <laughs> <laughs> that you need for your job. <laughs> oh, so, dear. Uh, now, it, now, when you gave those presents to her, did her fi face light up? Right. I, I don't want to tell you what they were, right, but she wasn't that impressed. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tell us what they are. You even know what they are, she told you, on Christmas Day. Hold on, wait a minute. But right. it doesn't matter what they are. It does matter what they are. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It does, Carl, it's you, mate. It no, it doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> We just remember. Yeah! Right, but don't- there's I've no got, need. I've got to tell him, Carl. I've- I, I really- I really want your permission because I don't want to be a- you know, I know it's not- but we know it's not that embarrassing, it's really quite sweet. Yeah, but in a way, right, <laughs> the way I look at it is, right, Christmas, even when I was a little kid, right, it's not- Please let me tell him, Carl. Well, let me just tell you first, oh. now. Let me tell you why I didn't go all out on the whole okay. present front. All right. <laughs> Justify yourself. Right? Oh, first God. of all- I've covered it up since then anyway, right, with that present because I bought her some shoes yesterday and she did say I'll give you the money for them but when I get home I said it's alright. <laughs> I said you can have them, right. <laughs> so, so not only, not only did I buy her some food on Christmas day, I got her shoes, she's probably had a table. And you feel like yeah. a horse. <laughs> yeah. It's not like, yeah, there you go, there's your shoes, there's your food, right, bed yeah. down, yeah. see you later. Yeah, but I, what I'm saying is she's done- fed and clothed Yeah, did you, did you comb her hair? She's done well this year, right? Uh, oh. So, <laughs> the thing she's is- She's done well this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're a single parent living on a council estate with a smack problem. <laughs> and you still managed to buy her <laughs> some right. Lego. When Can I was I a kid, oh, it God. wasn't about what you got. I remember one year when I was about eight, right? <laughs> oh, this is going me crying at this. It's no, good. it's not. I'm just saying the way it is, right? I woke up at about four in the morning and I was like, oh, what have I got? And I couldn't sleep. I was that on edge. Mm. It's the excitement of Christmas, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, what's wrapped up? I need to know. Sure. Yeah. And it's the fact that people are saying, no, you won't know until tomorrow. Yes. Sure. That annoys you and winds you up. Okay. So I got up at four in the morning, yeah. opened my presents, and then went, right, I know now, I went back to bed, had a great sleep. Yes. Right, so it's nothing to do with the excitement of what you get, it's the excitement of not knowing what you've got. And then what happened when you got up to go down with the so what you're, Hang on, so oh. what you're saying to me is that you could wrap up a brick because the thrill of Christmas is in hoping and ex being excited about what it is, not the actual gift itself. Yeah. Is that, is, is that what you did? That's the brick. <laughs> did, you, did you get a brick? No, let me tell him now. What he got? He got her a present, right? And she said, she just came and I said, uh, yeah, he got me. It was, it was an industrial sized packet of condoms. It was a joke gift. No, it, no, wasn't, it wasn't a, a joke, wasn't a joke. Gift. It wasn't even a joke. I mm. went home that Saturday afternoon, yeah, past boots, <laughs> thought, might have something in here. They were on, like, some value. Right, you, you passed the well, makeup. used. <laughs> You right, passed anyway. the makeup. You passed all the other. Yeah. Passed the makeup. Stuff. Passed the lovely vanity cases. Yeah. Yeah. The foot spas. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How much are these, love? For hundred. <laughs> yeah. Four ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Do I get them reduced if I buy in bulk? <laughs> so how many did you buy? What was it? I don't know. Probably about hundred. Right. Okay. And is she allowed to use those with anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Did you wrap them? Can she yeah, just go yeah, out and have a walk? Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't need to wrap them. They're already wrapped, aren't they? Oh. And then what did she say so when she opened them? I'm no, wait, wait, I'll, um, uh, Carl, what did she say? Right, play a record and we'll come back to this. <laughs> You're worse than my father, that's genius. <laughs> On XFM 104.9. So, Carl, just, just take us through the moment where you gave this gift. Seriously. So, so you, 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 you went into Boots, right? You thought, alright, under condoms. Brilliant. Mm. Okay. Did you wrap it up? I don't know if it was under, probably 80. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. You gotta so, go mad, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Wrap them up. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just resting easy knowing that he's not trying to breed. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no. Yeah. So, uh, I got her them. I got her, uh, Grease on DVD, cause okay. she's always watching that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so just think of uh, when her mum said, what did Carl get you? Some condoms and grease. <laughs> I was just so glad he said on DVD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Right. And, um, she was surprised anyway, right? Because yeah, I when, bet she was. No, when when she got <laughs> she she was she was thinking like jewellery. No, so right. was that that showed her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the vice, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, so hang on, wait a minute. You thought it was a holiday, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, look at your face. You don't know me at all. <laughs> um, so what? hang on, so did you give these on Christmas Day? Right, what <laughs> happened is, she got in from work that Saturday, <coughs> right? And I said, look under the tree. Knock her door. Right? At least it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm gonna get a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, said, I said, look, you got some stuff under the tree, right? <laughs> So, uh, she, that's Did you give her a sugar yeah. lamp? Right, she was really chuffed with that. But she said, she was a bit, a bit puzzled because I didn't know we had any wrapping paper, right? So I ended up using wallpaper. You didn't take it off the wall, though. You had no, some. No, it was some left over, right? So she said, why have you used wallpaper? I said, well, I didn't have any paper and you were getting in in a bit and I wanted you to have a surprise. <laughs> so, she said, can I have a feel of them? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the <present. laughs> she thought, right, I've got the right thing. Yeah. Right. And, uh, then Christmas Day. Um, I said, no, don't get carried away, it's nothing really good, you know, we said we weren't gonna buy each other much. Uh, so there you go, open them. Yeah, go on. And, uh, Can I just ask, had you received your present from her yet? Yeah. So what had you received? Um, what did they have? Had some shoes. Nice. Right. Um, getaway game for PlayStation. Nice. Just ta- I'm just tightening up just the value of this. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. just also think about how much fun and pleasure you get from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah Although, yeah, yeah. of course, condoms I can see the, well, yeah. see the appeal. Well, right. Okay, um, yeah, so yeah, I think I can- also add to that bit 150 quid for a meal. <laughs> If you're gonna start totting up, 150 quid for a meal, I bought some shoes, 72 quid. Yeah, that was after the event though. (laughs) Doesn't matter. (laughs) Alright, so you received these, dare I say it, thoughtful and nice gifts. You handed over the box of, uh, condoms. They were wrapped up, she had wrapped them. Yeah. Go on, take us through it. Walk us through it. Well, it's not, it's not something you play with on Christmas morning. (laughs) (laughs) Oh god! Oh. But, right. but when she opened what them, what did she say? Did what did she say? She's, well, I wrapped them twice as well, so she thought it was something really good. Extra like, protection. Oh. Right. And, uh, so she thought it was something really good. And then, and so then, the disappointment would be double. <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah. And then she just opened it and went, oh yeah, so what's on the telly? And that's that. Ungrateful. That that. What an ungrateful woman that is. Well, fancy, the not, stuff. fancy not wanting. I told her a, a I told box her, of economy condoms from Boots. I said to her about the thing about you know it's all about the surprise and that, isn't it? Yeah, you explained um, that to her. Yeah. What after she'd unwrapped it? Yeah. Thoughtful. And she was she was all right about it. Yeah. She understood. Rick, you know I suggested to him that he buy his girlfriend a gift. I'm worried I've done more damage to the relationship by suggesting that than if he had just forgotten. <laughs> Next time you've got to go shopping for yourself, Steve. I think I might do. You've better go shopping for yourself. It's, I'm glad it's all over though. It's it's mental. Yeah. I, it annoys me. The whole thing annoys me, and she knows that as well. Yeah. <laughs> she should know. What is she, she still insists on having Christmas once a year. Well, wow. Well, I'm, 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 you know. No, but uh, well, anyway, what did you get? I can't think what you, what you bring to the relationship, <laughs> Carl. I don't know what it is she's getting from you in this relationship. It's like uh, she's I doing all the know. work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Eighty times. <laughs> Oh God, God! I love it. You're brilliant. I know what she's getting. He's the, he's the, he's the. Uh, you what? No, he's not thoughtful. No, he, no, but he's, he's thoughtful. He's the best he can do with the brain he's got. Do you know what I mean? Right. He's doing his best. Mm. He's absolutely mm. doing his best. There's no. <laughs> he's working at the limits of his powers. Do you know what I mean? Though he's done as well as he can with what he was given. Sure. Yeah, I mean, and that's, that's admirable. Yeah. It's like, I think he's done better than you'd, you'd expect. I bet his teachers didn't even think he'd get this far. Do you know what I mean? What, find a girl? No, well, yeah, a job, a girl. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Clothe himself. He's done, he's done really well. What do you think, Carl? you think you've done well? I, I think I've done alright compared to some of my mates. What are they doing now? Probably not that much. Mm. Do you know mm. what I mean? The, the Mrs. Matthews said I wouldn't be an eye flyer. I think I'm doing alright. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I have a holiday every year. <laughs> uh, got somewhere to live and that. Yeah. yeah. Got a new flat, haven't you? Yeah, so... So where are they then, the condoms? Are they- did she show them to her family and friends? No, Take no. them into work? Look what Carl I'm surprised got she in. told Ricky, actually. I was a bit disappointed in that. Yeah. Cause I didn't go shouting at <laughs> Well, she was so excited, <laughs> Carl, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> she was so pleased and proud. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, play a record, we come back to it. Don't mug yourself, XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. A regular Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it. Oh, dear. So, Rockbusters. 
Right, Busters, uh, first one of the year. Um, Do you want to explain it? Okay, so yeah, we've got just some, in new case listeners. some new listeners. Like might it. have, might have, you like never it. know. Like Chance to win some stuff. Um, I'll give you like a cryptic clue and some initials, and it sort of makes up a band. So, an easy one that we did at the start was uh, an exploding pet, AK, atomic kitten. Yeah. Right, that's how it works. So there's three of them. Um, it's email only. You email in ricky.jace at xfn.co.uk and uh, you win all that stuff Steve was talking about. Right, first one. Uh, £42 for a torch. <laughs> <laughs> £42 for a torch. That's a bit pricey. Uh, that's D. Right. That's D. Yeah, so right. just give us a. Give Write us that a down. So £42 for a torch. That, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit of enhancement. <laughs> yeah. Thinking up his growth. Oh, okay, God. That's, that's D. D. Uh, the second one, um, he'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Say that again? He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Is that he will fit some chocolate to your feet? He'll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. And the initial there is A. That's A. Yeah, and uh, the third and final one, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? <laughs> Do you right. think, say again? Do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? That's <laughs> WP. Right, now, I just better warn people, um, you really gotta get into the mindset of Carl here. These are not real cryptic clues. These are not cryptic clues that you do in the Guardian or the, the Times crossword. Um, there's usually something wrong with them. Uh, it is usually, um, uh, what's the word? Um, completely change the word in order to make it fit. Yes. Often. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just be careful. Don't be surprised. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you want to give us them again very quickly? Alright, uh, first one, 42 quid for a torch. That's, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Alright, that's <laughs> D. Uh, second one, it'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Can't think of anything. I can't a. think. That's A. a. And, uh, do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? W.P. Right, so uh, Ricky Dotjavez at xfm.co.uk. Some great prizes to be won. Steve, if there was a record of the week, that would be a record of the week. You're a big fan, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's make it record of the week. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 record of the week. Richard Ashcroft. Excellent. Science of silence. Brilliant. No one gives us anything anyway. Are these pluggers? They come in. We get things like homemade bands that they've pressed it in their garage. Yeah. You can hear their mum in the background going, what are you doing? <laughs> exactly. Mum! <laughs> we're recording this for XFM! <laughs> yeah. 104.9, Wicked Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl, what have you got for us? I was just thinking, the irony is, we're the only people on this station, I think, who play their own records, aren't we? I know. Oh, there's loads of people who do. Rubbish. Sean Kennedy plays what he wants. He's on yeah, he's yeah, he's on, yeah, he's on he three o'clock in the morning, no one's plays. up. Zoe, on drive, she plays some stuff. <laughs> what do you mean, what does she play? Fat Boy Slim, probably. Play? Here's another remix. You know. I won't say who it's by. Christian <laughs> plays some of his own. Does he? Yeah, so... Yeah, but they're probably novelty songs, aren't they, by you? Right, <laughs> listen, right, Um Yeah, New Year and all that. Um <laughs> He's great, isn't he? Rock really? Busters, Rock Busters is on the way, we're getting some good stuff coming in. I have so. to say, I'm, I'm amazed. Every answer I've had so far has been correct. I listen to the clues, I've got no idea. And I know you, Carl, I spend time with you. Have I you know seen you the work. XFM listeners? <laughs> well, of course they're the same as Carl. Sure. Of course they've got the same mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. Right. So what did you do for New Year, incidentally? Well, I met, I cocked it up a bit. Right. You're joking. Oh, You're joking. Go. You're joking, mate. Go on. I went and, uh, booked the <laughs> You table. got the wrong day. No, <laughs> I Book, booked a table at a restaurant that was shut. <laughs> right? What? I booked a, a table at a restaurant, and the one that I called, it wasn't the one. The call had been diverted. So Suzanne said, call them up and see what they're serving. Right? Because I forgot to do that when I booked the table, right? Mm -hmm. That's so, great anyway. So got, because the thing is, right, it's a restaurant in Covent Garden, but they've got one in Victoria. But when they answered and they said, no, 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 Victoria, I thought that was the person who was answering the phone. Do you know how some people say the name? Right. Right? So then when I called them up and said, what you You thought, you thought he sounded a bit funny. Right? <laughs> so, uh... I'm confused, Carl, but probably not more. Well, no, it, it was a branch of a, um... All right, all uh, all right, right, right you, you, you want to give the restaurant away. So he phoned it up, there's one in Common Garden, they answered the so phone. So it's not, the restaurant's not called no, 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 no. No, no, they, they are, they, they said, no, 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 Victoria. Why can't we name <laughs> the restaurant? I don't know why. <laughs> it's scared? not libelous. Are we scared that, like, are you scared people are going to sort of see you in there because it's your regular haunt? No, it's just like, you know, you got to pay for stuff, haven't you? Right. I mean, it's... 
Okay, anyway, so you've I got... I your... mentioned it before New Year, but it's not... So did you go all the way to it? the restaurant to find out that it was closed? No, no, no. What happened is... I was that the name of the restaurant again? <laughs> <laughs> right, the restaurant's <laughs> called Christopher's. They've got one in Covent Garden, they've got one in Victoria. He right. phoned up, he went to book, it's a lovely restaurant, I've been there often, I recommend it to him. He phones up, he says, can I have a table for new, uh, new, they said, no problem, sir. Right? And then, uh, so then I said, oh, you better call up, see if they'd, see if they've got any haddock on the, <laughs> uh, menu. And he went, hello, and they went, hello, uh, Christopher's. Victoria went, Victoria? They went, yeah, he went, oh, no. That's it, innit? So then, I just said, no, forget it. I'm not going all the way over there. Right. So I cancelled it, right? So, <coughs> when I called up Suzanne and said, look, I've made an error. Uh, yes. The place we were going to is shut. Was she so, surprised again, or? So we're not going, <laughs> so she said, oh, try some other places, and I did. They were all booked up, yeah. right? I was fed up anyway. I ate New Year. It's always like this, innit? So, <laughs> so uh, I said, look. You know the common factor in all these stories? <laughs> you hate Christmas, you hate birthdays, you hate New Year. It is you. Right. Yeah. So, I said, I'll sort something out. Yeah. So I went to Tesco. Leave it with me. Went to Tesco's, boots went were to shut. Tesco. <laughs> got, yeah. a, got a lovely plate of condoms. Did you just stay in and play with the, her birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Blowing them up. Yeah, I've, done, I've, done, look, look, I've done some balloons. <laughs> well, it, it was. I think we did stay in. And I watched uh, that thing that, you know, under greatest moments, which was annoying me. Did you see, um, there was a nudist on it. You know how I feel about them. Mm, yeah. Right? Um, did you man, see him? Man with two knobs. There was a man with two knobs on it. And, uh, a nudist who, uh, just, like, wanders about the house. But it said, it said, uh, and when he visits people, uh, they're, I was thinking, who go, lets him visit? I go, exactly, yeah. But, yeah. but he must go there with trousers on and go, hello, lovely to see you. Go, just pop all these off. Well, <laughs> oh, not really, no. And I'll tell you what, what annoyed me the most, they had a white sofa. Uh, if you were a nudist, you'd get, you'd get a darker one. <laughs> right? So anyway, right, so we ended up watching that. That annoyed me. And then, um, I was tired by about 11 and I said, oh, let's go to bed. And she said, you can't. And that annoys me, the fact that because it's New Year, you've got to stay up. And it's like, well, why? Can't we just, they should bring it forward. So in case you want to- To quarter to ten. Quarter to ten. <laughs> well, you stay, yeah, well, you stay up and it's like my eyes were dead heavy and I was like, oh, I want to go to sleep. So just stay up and then it's midnight and you go up in New Year, then you go to bed. Yeah. Well, not everyone, Carl. No, Some people have a little party. Right. Um, so, so it's over with anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, so what? are you 86 years old? <laughs> 86 <laughs> minutes. Do you ever enjoy? Hey, you never seem to have any fun, Carl. This is what disappoints. This is what worries me. I feel like you're going to die. You're here, young, you're, you're, you're here, Carl. With us two, we've got three. As I was just saying to Steve, three of the greatest comedy minds ever in one room, and Steve pointed out since the goodies. True. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean it should you... be party central. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, right, so this is when I spent time thinking of new ideas. Right. So that's when I came up with, uh, what did I come up with? Rituals. Yeah. Uh, this is about, uh, it's good to have a flathead in India. I know, just for yeah. us, past just for, yeah. It's good to have a flathead in India. Is that it? Um, well what they do is they put wood around your head and sort of clamp it and the flatter head you've got apparently the more attractive in some part of India, can't remember. So that's like a, that's a ritual. So I don't know where to start with this. No. Well leave it. Leave it. Um, we've, we've, we'll be doing that. Well we've done it. That's, that's so that was the first week. one, wasn't that's it? That's yeah. this week! <laughs> right? We've uh, also got, ah. um, we've also got Do, you, do We Need Them? Which yeah. we carried on from last year, okay, which is finding awesome. out, you know, what animals we need in the world, which ones we can get rid of. I'm talking to experts and that, finding yeah. that out. We're doing rock busters, that's on the way, we're getting emails in. And, uh, what do you think of that then? What do you think of that then, of course? With, with I love this, that he treats his show like it's a checklist for what he's got to pack for holiday. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's, you just go, sun cream, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's I all know. like, it's done. Look, look <laughs> at his face. No, but I try and come up with stuff that people will remember and go, that's interesting, I'll tell my mates that in the pub. Another one I'm, I'm thinking of doing, do you know the film Around the World in 80 Days? Ooh. Around the World in 80 Gervais. And oh, what I do, I give you like little, uh, things like little bits of information about countries, so that if you go, <gasps> you'd go like, oh, I don't, don't want to go there. Uh, this is a terrible thing to say, and I apologise. I, I, I can't think of the PC word for it, but I think Carl is slightly retarded. Yes, I was just going to think. I was just thinking the same. Yeah, yeah. Is but there something we can do about that? Is just play a record, just keep the- Could we get ourselves registered as a charity? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I'm just sorry, I was just looking to see if that's a new single. It looks like it probably yeah, is, yeah. if it's, that's of interest to you. It's a new one. Yeah. There we go. So, our uh, first of our, um, regular features with Carl. We've got Rockbusters, that's rolling. There's, uh, people coming in, they're, they're getting them right, I don't- 
I don't understand well, myself. Well, as ever, Rick, you'll be uh, you'll be amazed and confounded. So I don't know the answer, and I haven't looked at the answers. I, I just like that moment. It's like when you go down Christmas and you're excited about a present, and it's like some condoms. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, yeah. I, I love that that <laughs> yeah, that moment. Yeah, um, I, just, I don't know how he's going to top that next year. I don't know how he's going to top that. All I can think of is yeah. some corn plasters. <laughs> Um, right. It's all right, love. The batteries are included. Got your pumice stone. <laughs> right, now, do we need them? Do we need them? It's something we started a few weeks ago. Uh, we're always talking about animals and insects and that. And, um, it's like, you know, if you took an animal out of the world, would, would we have problems? Right? <laughs> would it That's, make any difference? Yeah, would it make any difference? We That's did jellyfish what? last time, didn't we? Yeah. We the, sorted that out. The woman said we've got to keep them. We do uh, need them, because turtles eat them. Yeah. Um, so, I've moved on. Octopus. Do we need the octopus? Yeah. Let's find out. I'm working through, um, a load of animals, right, that, uh, I'm finding out whether we need them or not, right? Right. Because, like, jellyfish, to me, I'm a bit puzzled by them. I don't really know why we need jellyfish. And I spoke to some Turtles expert. eat them. What? Turtles eat them. Yeah, I know, but do we need turtles? Do you know what I mean? It, it goes on and on, doesn't it? We need humans. Well, you know, I mean, that, I might get to that bit, but yeah. I need to sort out the animals first. I've got right. a lot on. So, the thing is, I've, I've left the jellyfish. We know we need them, right? right? So, octopus. Yeah. Right, I know they're pretty brainy. Incredibly brainy. Um, a story that I heard, I don't know if it's true, but, uh, there was some science lab somewhere, right? Yeah. Where they had some octopus in it, and they had some crabs. Yeah. And at night, the octopus was, like, getting a bit bored on its own in the dark and that, and they, they sort of come alive in the dark, don't they? Yeah. They like the dark. Yeah. And the octopus had, like, had its eye on the crabs, and at night, when it's dark, it was getting out of its little cage, crawling along the floor, Getting in the crab's cage, getting them out and eating them. I don't doubt it. We put jam jars with the lids on, we crabs in, and they'll open the jam jar and... You're joking? Yeah. You and I sometimes struggle with them. <laughs> yeah, we don't do it... R well, well, you don't do it really, really tight, but... Oh, right, so they're not that clever then? Well, they would, if they were strong enough, they'd open it, but they're just not that strong. Oh, that's mad. Right, I also know that uh, if they get hungry, they, they eat their own legs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the deaf. No, I don't know. Yeah. I don't really know. Yeah, they, mean, they don't live very long. Um, they can squash themselves into small jugs. Oh, yeah, they can go in a demijohn through the narrow neck and that. Why Why do they need to do that? Because they're the sort of crevices and holes that they're hunting for crabs and things through. So, would they be better if they were smaller? Do you know what I mean? Well, I don't know. I really don't know. It's... Yeah. But octopus then, if if Noah said to you, you know, we're, we're, we're having a clear out. Yeah. We've got too many animals to look after and that in the sea, taking up too much room. Right. Do we need them? I think there's other l less useful things in the sea than octopus. Limpets, they could go. Limpets? Yeah, they just sit on a rock and do nothing for 50 years. But they're not getting in the way then, how big are they? Well, not very big. Yeah, you see, I, I might come round to them, but I, I, I never think, oh, you know, I'm sick of seeing these limpets. Whereas octopus, you know, crawling about, opening jam jars and that. You'd never see them, though. They're pretty, really rare. Well... Wow. We get two or three caught a year. It's, a, you know, it's quite amazing. Do we need them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll just have to keep them, then. <laughs> I remember that, that Carl can confuse a scientist. Yeah. Yeah, because all systems of logic break down. I know, I, even the, the scientist was going, oh, get rid of Olympics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That now, who brilliant. was that guy? Uh, I think his name was Chris. And where was he from? In a place called Megavissi, where I went one year. Megavissi. And is he a, uh, yeah, he's a scientist, is he? Uh, I think he's got a fish shop or something like that. He's got a fish? No, he doesn't. Well, like an aquarium type place. Oh, right. So... <laughs> a fish shop. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't mention Tim. <laughs> it wouldn't have asked him that he, uh, uh, a, a winkle yeah. store. He's got a winkle store at Paul Arthur. Yeah, that's an expert. 
<laughs> oh dear. But, what, uh, what have you learned from that then? Well, the, uh, we don't know whether they're deaf or not, because the scientist, the bloke in the chip but shop couldn't are. confirm it. <laughs> um, they eat their own legs. Look yeah, at that. It's very weird. Yeah. It? They eat weird. their own legs? They eat their own legs if they get hungry. Right. Um, and they grow back, don't they? Mm, I think so, yeah. If, if you, if you eat one, they don't grow back. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you can put them in, in little jars and that. Uh, if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's like, um, <laughs> no, but you know, like, you know, people have a go about being cruel to animals and that, but what he was saying there is, right, what they've watched an octopus do, they've, they've got hold of a crab, right, so that'll be being stressed out because it's out of the water. <laughs> yeah. They've then stressed it out even more by putting it in a jar. <laughs> right. Which he didn't like. Uh -huh. Which he didn't like. And then an octopus is crawling about on the jar. Yeah. And the crab knows that the octopus wants to eat it. Yeah. Right? So then it's having more frets. Yeah. Because of that. And then they let the octopus eat it. Yeah. I think that's, that's pretty... Do we need crabs? Uh. See them next week, yeah. Well, I want to sort out snails first. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> What's your pitch with snails? What do you know about snails? Um, I know that, um, bats eat them. <coughs> um, they can sleep for 13 years. Right. <laughs> can you believe that? Okay. <laughs> he said to me, he said to me, snails can sleep for 13 years. And I went, right. He went, oh, thing is though, if it was a scientist, and he was, you know, he was looking at it, and he put it in a quiet place. It might well doze off. <laughs> he said it wouldn't be the same if it lived on the streets. <laughs> and then we went on to a whole thing about homeless. He wants to do a game show with celebrities being homeless for a week. <laughs> what do you think? Actually, I've got to say that's not bad at it's all. It's not bad, is it? No. Do you know how like Lenny Henry went to the jungle? Yep. Right, and you've got. Uh, You've got, what, who else did it? Um, uh, John, uh, John, John Lundy made slippers out of a bra, <laughs> right? So I'm thinking, like, get a celebrity and say to him, no, just because, I'll tell you why, right? I'll tell yeah. you why all this came about. When I was walking back from that Christmas meal that I bought my girlfriend for 150 quid. Right. <laughs> Lest we forget. Right? Um, I was walking down Mortimer Street and there was an homeless fella there and it was like, oh, you know, it's really, really bad. But the weird thing is, it was, it was about, I don't know, probably about eight, eight o'clock. Yeah. No, about, about nine. Right. And he was asleep. And I just thought, do homeless people ever think, do you know, I think I'll, I'll have an early one tonight. <laughs> right, that's, that's what got me thinking, it's a bit weird, the whole lifestyle of it, the yes. fact that he had an early one. So, uh, the fact, what, what, if it's a bit weird that he's sleeping not in a home, but on the street? No, it's just that if it's I interesting. if I was homeless, I'd probably stay up quite late because it's not nice. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What are you talking about? Just being homeless isn't a good thing, is it? No, people forget how bad it is. Yeah, right. But surely sleeping gets you out of reality. They sleep because they're tired. They can't sleep very well, so they need all the sleep they can get. Yeah, but sleeping's nice if you've got a nice big bed. What, you think that they can go, I'll stay up, I'll go to bed at two, I'll go straight to sleep and I'll pop up at eight when the alarm clock goes off? Well, that's just what I was thinking, right? <laughs> so, I was thinking how bad it is and it's, you know, especially this time of the year, you know. Yeah, uh, it's terrible. It's the, uh, it's it's the really worst nice. thing. And to sort of give it some publicity and get a bit of help behind it, get celebrities, yeah. someone like I, Phil Mitchell, I maybe, yeah. off, off EastEnders, yeah. who's a big fella, he can look after himself. Put him in a shop doorway. Right. Have some cameras set far away in a building or something. Yeah. They can film him. Right. And it's up to him how he raises money for food to eat. He could sign autographs. <laughs> well, they wouldn't know him though, would they? Because you, you never look at a homeless get? person. Get, uh, what's her name? Gail you Porter. Yeah. Gabby Roslin. Right. Yeah. Narinda from Big Brother. Yeah. Uh, who else would do it? Um. I got a game show. Les Dennis, called, I reckon. I got it. a game show idea called On the Game. <laughs> And, uh, what happened to you? Richard Ray, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Go on, Carl, what, what's, what's next? Are you gonna do your, um, war feature? War, what is it called? War, do you think of that then? You do that now? I just, it annoys me a bit, right, because we said before Christmas that we'd come back with new stuff. Yeah. Um, gave you a title to work on, that Ricky Ridiculous. Right. You came in today, I said, have you sorted it out? You say no. Steve, you're having a go at me for getting wanting to get music out of the library for you. Yeah. You haven't got any new ideas. Sure. But you're dissing mine. I'm not dissing yours. Well... I'm, I, I, I'm a massive fan of them. Good vibe off you. 
Oh, I think that's very harsh. I, I just asked you when were we going to have war? Do you think of that? I'm a big oh, fan. I'm excited. Well, it's not that good to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I disagree. It sounds brilliant. Right. Well, it's it's a bit of a tweak of educating Ricky. Uh, right. Just some information on on wars. Yeah. Um, okay. World War Two. World War Two. All right. Um, the world champion chess player. Um, he helped uh, someone out. Um, <laughs> in the war. <laughs> it's the detail I like. <laughs> no, he had, you know, he it's, had, it's nearly a history program, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I was watching those repeats of the world at war. Yeah. That were on in the mornings, you know, incredibly Did detailed, you like, they got nothing on cards. Did you write a lot of that David Sharma series? <laughs> he, he was able to use his skills that he has to play chess, because apparently chess is all about probabilities of like where, you know, where a piece will be put. Right. And, uh, they got him in. And they said, can you help us out? He said, yeah. And, uh, he said, right, where, sh where should we, like, Hitler like has just moved his queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that, that's yeah. A, that's a He sent in a bishop that ran diagonally <laughs> yeah, exactly. through the troops, <laughs> knocking him over. Sorry, wait a minute, Carl. So they got a chest Sorry, that's, that's it. Well, yeah. It's just like, oh, what do you think of that? Again, that's not a story. But it angers me that he says that I'm down on the ideas when that... I mean, that's beginning to shape up as quite interesting. I thought you were going to tell me which battle or which event was two. you... World War Two. There's not a battle. But which bit of you World War Two? No, the, the middle bit. <laughs> it's six years worth. Yeah, well, probably about a bit in. Guessing. Thought, let's... Guessing. Well, all right, yeah, there is a bit of guesswork, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Could have been an interesting thing if you told me it had an impact well, on the when Normandy landings. you look landings. at these things, do you go, uh, bloke wants help chess, oh, he's that, and run away from the computer? No, or I run out it. of the bookshop? I read the first line where I get enough information, I just think- What do you mean you read the first line where you get enough information? Imagine if you were someone's defence lawyer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he was like, he's on death row, and <laughs> yeah. went, oh, I don't think he did it. <laughs> yeah. I read the first line, I didn't read the file it's completely. He's in a hotel in Texas, right? Go on. It's enough. Oh, some other it's stuff. enough, it's enough. enough. It's, it's enough. enough, it's enough. I, yeah, I, no, I just thought they always took ages on deciding where to go. It's just like, you know, but there's a better I way. don't know what you're saying now. I don't know what, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I actually takes, don't when, know when what you're talking about. people play chess, they take ages to make the move. So I'm just thinking, there's probably a quicker way. <laughs> of what? Than finding where a boat is. Than getting a chess player in. I don't know, I don't know what you mean now. Right, Are you talking right, about battleships now? They should have got an extra battleships player in. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, Carl, right, what, Forget that one. Also, no, 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 I'm not being funny, but what is that? What are you telling me there? Someone who's really good at risk. <laughs> yeah. should have brought them in. <laughs> yeah. Cluedo. Right, yeah. Another fact. Oh, I thought that's enough then, is it? Well, they use expert Cluedo players, um, but the police use expert Cluedo players. Yeah, 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 yeah. If ever there's a murder in a country house. Do you think they use that old Chinese fella? Um, on the front of, um, uh, Mastermind. The mastermind, yeah. 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 Yeah, for logic problems. The, the Enigma code was broken by top Mastermind <laughs> players. <laughs> yeah. Right, second fact. And a fact. guy who had a couple of rounds of Yahtzee and done very well. <laughs> yeah. Second fact about the war. They, um, for engineering, they use a lot of Jenga players. Absolutely. Yeah, whenever they want will the building collapse? Uh, I don't know, let's pull this, let's see. If yes, they wanted to identify, uh, <laughs> what, what are you doing? If they wanted to identify spies, yeah. bring me the champion of guess who. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a woman with glasses? No, it might sit <laughs> down. Got a beard. Is it Bernard? <laughs> <laughs> right, Carl, sorry, right. go on. An another war fact. Go so on. You're saying it's rubbish, but look, you, you love that. Yeah. Right? yeah. Second you're one. You're right. Um, the first bomb that was dropped on Berlin. Yeah. It didn't kill a person, but it killed an elephant. <laughs> I think that's true. That is true. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, and the last one. <laughs> is that all you know about that? See, that's interesting, isn't it? But what that's was enough. But, but no, it's not, it's though. Not cause I, no, because, I mean, listen, most people want to go, oh, what was the elephant doing there? Did oh, it land in a zoo? Was it a pet? Oh. Was it a lost elephant? Did they aim at the elephant? How did it kill it? Did was it, it hit, hit it on his favourite elephant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, was it hit his favourite elephant? Did it then have one ball? Yeah. I mean, these are the things, you know, why didn't he catch it with his mm -hmm. trunk? Did it have an effect on German morale? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. elephant is <laughs> Oh, Jumbo! <laughs> I don't want to be paid anymore! Cheering breaks, painkiller, on XFM. Carl's getting a little bit stressed, aren't you? No, I, I just, I just, you know, gotta keep focus, gotta keep the show good and that. Yeah. You know, and in the yeah, new year yeah. the idea was come up with some good snappy stuff. Yeah. And today I just think it's, it's been a mess with you, to be honest. I mean, this is the sort of thing I'd prefer to do after the show as, as a producer. Yeah. But, 
Well, you know what, I, I think it's a discipline problem. Is it because sure I, I, I just put sellotape on your head? Well, that that's a bit to do with it. But just, you know, let's let's just focus but on... But I didn't put it when there was any hair on your eyebrows, I put it across your forehead. Right. What do you think of that then? Yeah. We've got one more bit left. Brilliant. One more fact. Um, the French, right, when they were at war, um... <laughs> David Sharp, I just imagine him just introducing it. amazing. Which, which war was this? It was still the World War, uh... One or war, two. World yeah, war go two. on, it's 50-50, go on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, right, World War Two. uh, what the French did, uh, the, everyone needs a code. <laughs> everyone needs a code? <laughs> yep. A code, when you're, when you're in the army. This is a Disney song. Right. <laughs> um... And, you know, to sort of give the go-ahead if you want to go into battle and stuff. Okay. Right? So, um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the weird thing is... Show. Right? The weird thing Everyone. is... Do you know what, do you know what theirs was? Go on. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I've, I know what it is. It's so what was the, the French code? For what? To sort of say, right, yeah, go on. <laughs> but they had more than one. <laughs> <laughs> on, on this day. But I don't know what day it is. <laughs> on All this right. day. And um, what, it's, it's like saying, what am I thinking of? <laughs> what was the battle? What was the... Okay, right. so, alright, what... Look at him, look at him, look, he's genuinely confused that I've asked this question. Right. It was... No! No, no, if you ask me a question, ask me the question quickly. Um, what was the, what was the code for battle during what battle? World War Two. No, that's not a battle. That's a war. Yeah, it was in a war, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it I was, don't know what to do. He right. confuses people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. What was it, Carl? What was the yeah? Code? What, what, what was are the you thinking code? of? Right. John's got a mustache. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, what uh, are you talking my about? Are that, the best. that was was a code that the French used. You know, like I mean, I just think it's a bit daft, right? Uh, because you could come up with that by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two French blokes talking in the trenches, and they see they see a major walk past, and they go, oh, "Look, John's got a moustache," and they all go, and go, "No, I was just talking." <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, the way I, I don't think that's a good code. I, I'm not. I don't know. believe it is the code. No, it is seriously. And what? Uh, and it's would just it, something would it have been, would it have been it. said in French? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. The, guessing. The, guessing. The, yeah. 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 No, but... What? You see, I can't even be, be bothered. <laughs> what are you saying, Carl? Because it's not a very good code. Do you know how like, we've talked in the past about, you know, things you don't see and I said, an old man eating a Twix? <laughs> yeah. If they use that, that wouldn't... that's safe. Because no one is ever going to see a man having an old, you know, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, use that as a code. Don't use a saying, <laughs> John's got a moustache, that could crop up. <laughs> it's like the wars kicked off. Why did, how, why did how'd that happen? Well, I said John had a moustache. Oh. <laughs> Two French folks would never be saying John's got a moustache. Why, why would they? they? Because well, back then they were fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly makes sense, doesn't he? I assume it would have been Jean. Yeah. No, probably John. And I, I, how would this, how would this code have been... <laughs> I mean, who would have announced know, this? I, just read it. I read it like that, Steve. That's what was on the internet. This is a code that was used. John's got. Well, don't a be angry with me. I know, but you're always asking questions. Because <laughs> I'm interested in history. <laughs> yeah. No, it's genu you're genuinely interesting, bloke. Calm. We'd like to know. I'd like to film you secretly. You know, like they do, like Nature Watch, when they put it in a uh, like a, <laughs> you know, I mean, a badges <laughs> sort of thing, right? Yeah. And they just they just watch it. I'd like to see what you do, pop around them. <laughs> I wish I could download the music in your head, because it'd be <laughs> and you see something weird, you go <laughs> and then you read that and you go <laughs> and you write it down, and that's what comes out. John's got a moustache. They could like imagine the French, right, for their battle cry, for their battle code. You know, it's going ahead, they're going over the top, is you never see an old bloke eating a Twix. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, but they, all these things are things that I think in my head. Right? <laughs> yes, Keep them in there! <laughs> you know, Please. like before, before when I was talking about going out on, you know, Christmas Day, yeah. having a meal on the way back, seeing a homeless person. Yeah. And then I think, God, that wouldn't be good. I don't know, TV show. Right? <laughs> you can think of things like that. When I saw the homeless fella, then I got talking to Suzanne about when I had to sleep in my car. What do you mean? Go on. Let's play a record and come back oh, to any sleeping in God, the car. I can't wait. Play a song for the lovers. I was watching last night, Carl, <sighs> on cable TV, 1987's amazing 
Sign of the Times Prince in concert film. It was dynamite. I thought to myself, how brilliant he is. It reminded me of the gig I went to see last year. He played this tune. It's from the album Parade. Okay, I don't want to discuss whether or not Prince is acceptable on XFM or whether he's a genius. He is a genius. That's the end. That's the end of the discussion. Play the tune. He's dynamite. It's a song for the ladies. I, was, I remember, um, I was gonna tell you, um, I was on the way here. You know, um, do you remember John? He's got a moustache now. I can't believe it. What, lads, no! <laughs> Don't. <laughs> it's not on! It's, it was... <laughs> the battle's not on! <laughs> Look at your face. That, Patrick. after the break, Steve, a brand new feature I've just done, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You see, you say Ricky Gervais doesn't put any work into the show. He's just done that. I'm gonna tell Carl some amazing facts from the, the world of science, nature, politics. Four are real. One is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Cat Stevens from the Catch Bullet 4 album, Sitting. A little interesting fact for the nerds. We got it down to two songs to uh, do this intro music to the office. It was that one and Handbags and Glad Rags. We met for Handbags and Glad Rags. Interesting, isn't it? It is a fascinating fact, except yeah. of course we want, I still feel we should use that one, except we couldn't because uh, Cat Stevens' people wouldn't let us. Or it was too expensive or something. I don't know. We recorded so what Stuart one. That, I, it was I, too expensive. I, still, I still prefer that one. Yeah. Difficult. <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> Decision. Anyway, Decisions. that's ridiculous. Right. Five facts. Right. One is totally made up. All right. Just do three. Three. And oh well. There's, okay. Right. Um. Um. Oh, let's see. What should I do then? Uh, there this are more was moves. Carefully planned. There are more moves possible in a game of chess than there are particles in the universe. Um. You can't get any colder. Than liquid nitrogen, I think it's minus two seven three. You, can, you can't. It's impossible to get colder than that. Um, the honey badger has got skin so loose that if you grabbed it by the neck, it could uh, come away from its skin, turn round, and bite you out of its anus. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Right, Rockbusters then, uh, wrapping it up, um, It needs some work, that game, but I see it's got a lot of mileage. Um, uh, right, here uh, we go then, the first one, uh, £42 for a torch, that's a bit pricey. Go on. That was D, yeah. that was Daylight. Wait, I thought Delight, and I thought um, it doesn't work. Second one. It doesn't work. Second I thought Delight doesn't work. Second one. There's um, no, no, wait, 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 Daylight, it doesn't work, it's Delight. Second one was- No, no, Carl, it doesn't work. Yeah, but- if we're gonna continue with this feature, you've got to tweak them a bit, right? <laughs> People have got it, we've had loads of emails, more than ever. So, do you know what I mean? Let them decide. Mm. If they don't like it, they won't email in, but they lo they're loving it. They've right? all come from the same institution. Um, <laughs> go on. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet, that was A, that was Aerosmith. Right? Aerosmith. You've yeah. heard of a blacksmith. But a smith is just yeah. a workman. It doesn't uh, No, you can have anything. You can have a locksmith. You... A smith doesn't just mean it does shoes. Right. Do you think- you... Aero Cobbler oh. would have worked. Unfortunately, there isn't a band called Aero Cobbler. Get ready, get ready with a winner. Um, do you think your kid will, uh, get that strawberry for me? That's Wilson Pickett. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson Pickett. <laughs> you got I'll give you that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have to say that I don't know if these guys have won in the past, but they were the first people to email in. They, I mean, normally I just give it to anyone, but these guys, literally, you'd give them the clues, Carl. Get I'm amazed. Everyone seemed to get Aerosmith. <laughs> Everyone got D Light. Everyone got Wilson Pickett. I, I'm absolutely stunned. I, I just, I, you know, they deserve it. They deserve the junk. <laughs> Prizes, right? <laughs> so we'll give it to Jonathan and Louise, who, as I say, may have won in the past, but as I say, they were very, very quick. You've got oh. to be them if you want to win. Yeah. Uh, and they're from Wrexham. Brilliant. So good luck to them. So that's I hope that, they enjoy uh, Jerry's yoga diet. Back next week, then. Yeah. See you later. See ya. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>